If you'd like to draw countertops on AutoCAD, uh, depending upon the shape you would like to draw, you can use different icons. One thing we can do is uh, you can choose the line and then draw it manually. So let's choose the line. If you would like to cut a, a top 100 inches L shape, for example, uh, we left click and then show uh, which way the line is going to be extending. Would like it to extend it to the right for this case. And then uh, we can just enter the measurements. Let's say we would like this top to be 100 inches. So we enter 100 on our keyboard and click enter. Without doing anything, uh, we can uh, now show where this line will uh, will continue. Would like it to continue this way. Let's say would like it to be uh, continue another 100 inches. So we enter 100 on our keyboard, hit enter. Let's say uh, we would like the countertop to continue to uh, to the left side. We show the left side without clicking without doing anything we just need to enter the measurements for this case it will be 25 and a half inches and we would like it to continue this way until until we have 25 and a half inches depth over here so we can just show uh, any measurements leave it a little bit short left click and leave this line uh, press uh, escape to be able to get out of the command. Now we can continue from, from this side. We can choose the line again, find the starting point and would like it to be 25 and a half inches wide. So we enter 25 and a half on our keyboard, hit enter. And then would like the line to continue to the right side. So we show the right side. Again, we can leave it short. Now what we need to do is we need to, uh, we need to connect these two lines on the corner, we can choose this tool, which, which is chamfer, a uh, fillet, fillet tool. Uh, choose the fillet tool and then choose the two lines we would like to connect. It will be connected. If you would like to put a small radius on this corner, for example, we can choose the same tool, the fillet tool, or we can enter uh, the command fill it on our uh, by using our keyboard hit enter we would like the radius to be let's say one inches so we need to hit r enter and we would like to we would like it to be one inches so we hit one enter click the two lines again to be able to have the radius if you would uh on uh, most countertops there will be a sink so let's say that our sink center is 30 inches from this side so we would like to measure choose our measuring tool click the corner and then let's say we would like it to be 40 inches from the left side so we uh, type in 40 click enter this is our 40 inches and let's say that we would like our front bridge of our sink to be four inches we can use our offset tool over here click the offset tool and then uh, enter four for four inches hit enter then click the line we would like it to offset this line we would like to offset towards inside click inside so this this distance is four inches we can use measuring tool to verify. We can now draw a line to be able to find where our cutout our center starting point will be. So we choose the line and then click. We would like to start from here, go up. This is our starting point. Now, for if we already have the a template of the of the sink. We can bring it, choose the template of the sink we would like to use, and then uh, right click, copy, and again right click, paste. We would, we would need it to be start exactly from 
from here so we can ch select this shape again and then uh, right click hit the move and we can move it from right from its its center so we need to find its 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 uh, midpoint left click and carry it to where we would like it to start we just now need to delete all the extra items and we have our uh, sink uh, placed in the center we would like uh, now we would like to mark which edges will uh, need to get polished uh, we just need to select the edges that needs polished and then select flat polish from here if you'd like to use a different edge anywhere we can again select those edges and then select a different edge let's say we would like to use OG edge for this case and to be able to uh, make any notes on the drawing we just use the text single line text icon over here left click and then let's say would like to type in here that there is a fridge here so we click here and then we go up so that determines the direction of the text and then type in fridge when we are done we left click so we know now there is a uh, there is a fridge here once we are done building our drawing we can use the measuring tool to be able to show all its measurements if you'd like to copy this uh, shape and then polyline it we can select it copy it and paste it we just need to delete extra items select all hit the delete button select this one too now we need to make it a, a polyline we can use the command b poly and then uh, click pick points and then click inside the drawing click enter now it's a polyline drawing we need to get rid of the extra lines so we need to choose the shape and then uh, carry it to right and top to be able to get rid of uh, extra double lines now we have a copy of the polyline drawing of our shape here on the top we can cut and put it on our on our uh, cnc we also have the uh, shape with the measurements for our uh, for our fabrication shop now if you would like to uh, print this shape uh, we uh, we click uh, control p for print then uh, choose uh, plot settings choose window and then with left click show where we would like to print and then hit and uh, choose the pdf maker hit ok to be able to save pdf copy of the drawing